This is SOLIDWORKS Lesson 1.3. In this lesson, we're going to be talking about features. You'll notice that we're now in the Features tab of our Command Manager. This shows us all of the 3D tools. The first set of tools are all labeled with a boss base. A base is the first solid part of the feature that is built, and the boss is every other part that's built after that. The second section are all tools that cut the material away. And then this third section over here contain all of the tools that do special things to the part. Let's start by making a solid base of this circle. We'll click on the extruded boss base button and we'll see that our property manager shows us two options. The first, we can pick a plane on which to draw a sketch or we can use an existing sketch to use for the feature. We're going to use the existing circle that we already made. So we'll go ahead and expand our design tree here and click on the first sketch that we created before. Our property manager now gives us parameters that are for that extrude. We want to go out a distance of 0.75 inches. We're going to keep all of these as default. We'll go ahead and accept that. After accepting that extrude, we can see that we have this boss extrude in our design tree. If we open it up, then we can see that we have this sketch one that's referenced to it. Let's go ahead and make another extrude. So we'll go ahead and click the extruded boss base tool. And instead of picking an existing sketch, we're going to pick a plane to draw a new sketch on. So let's go ahead and pick the front plane again. And it's going to automatically get us into a sketch. I'm going to click on this normal two button to line us up. And we're going to draw another circle centered on the origin in the middle of this shape. So I'm going to go ahead and add that relation and dimension to make sure that we're fully defined. And this one's going to be 2.75 inches. So we'll go ahead and accept that. Our sketch is fully defined. So we'll go ahead and exit the sketch. Before it took us to the design tree where it had the sketch in there. Now it's taking us straight to the boss extrude tool because we knew that we wanted to use the sketch for another extrude. I'm going to hit my middle mouse button and hold it down and turn my part. So I'm just holding down my middle bu mouse button and moving my mouse so I can see the part. This is actually going through the material of the first part and extending further. We wanted to have it go a total of 2.25. Okay, And you can see that this merge result button is here and we're going to leave it clicked because it's going to merge this new solid base or the boss with the old base. So we'll go ahead and accept that. So you can see that that material is coming out from the, the others. Let's do one more extrude, but this time we'll do a cut. And let's draw the sketch first again this time. So we're going to go ahead and click on the sketch tab and then create a new sketch. And when it prompts us for a plane to draw the sketch on, we'll go ahead and pick this front surface of our part. So we're now creating sketch 3, and we're in a, in a sketch. And we'll go ahead and make the normal view. And we're going to do another circle centered at the origin that is smaller than our circle before. And we'll go ahead and dimension that. We want a dimension of 1.5. Okay, and our sketch is fully defined, so we'll go ahead and accept it and exit out. We can see that because we just created the sketch without clicking on the tool first, it just puts the sketch in our design tree. And then we have to decide what we want to do with it. So let's click on the extruded cut tool. This is really similar to the extruded boss base tool. It prompts us with the same thing. We can either create a new sketch or use an existing sketch. We're going to go ahead and pick that sketch 3. And instead of a blind distance, let's go ahead and move so we can see what's going on. So instead of a blind distance of 2.25, we're going to change this option to a through all option. That means it will go through this whole part no matter how long it is. All right. And we'll go ahead and accept that. And we'll see that it cuts the material out from the middle of our part. 
So that was R, the extruded boss base tool and the extruded cut tool.